Good afternoon and welcome back to Park Scooter. Today we're going to be making soap from scratch using lye. Not the melting pool, but actually making it from lye. And we're going to be using the hot process, which means we'll be able to use our soap in about a week's time. When it's a cold process, it can be up to six weeks. Okay, the first thing you need is a few simple supplies. You need some fats. Fats can be anything from lard to shea butter to cocoa butter, coconut oil, whatever you want as your solid oils. You need liquid oils, which I've already pre-measured. Uh, and the best thing, one tip, when you do measure your things, measure them in grams instead of ounces, you get a more accurate uh, reading and better results. It's just something that I found. Your liquid oils can be sweet almond oil, olive oil, any avocado oil, any oil that you would like. You also need, you can use clay. Some of you use turmeric to color their, you know, their soap. We're using Moroccan clay. And you're going to need a good hand mixer. Measuring spoon, spatula, and no, I just pick out utensils that you're not want to be using in your kitchen anymore. Just know once you use these for the soap, designate them for the soap use only. A thermometer. You're going to need this when you measure the temperature to get your water and lye mixture right and also to check the temperature of your mixture once it melts. We'll see that later in the video. We have a mold, lime or parchment paper so it'll be easier to get the soap out. This size mold is for uh, enough for a four pound loaf. Some saran wrap and distilled water. Not water from the faucet, but distilled water. And a scent of your choice. And today we're going to be making pumpkin vanilla. So, first step we want to do is be sure our crock pot is on low. Not high, but low. We want to add our fat. It's so hot, it's so hot outside. We thought we were getting some cool fall weather, but it's so hot out here, so it would take probably less than 30 minutes for this to melt. So we're going to just let this sit here and melt, and then we'll come back and add our liquid oils. Okay, it's been about 30 minutes, and our uh, fats, our solid oils have melted. So now we're going to add our liquid oils. And while this, these are uh, sitting here, the temperature, of course, still on low, I've already started my lye and distilled water mixture. And before we add the um, clay to this, we're gonna wait until the lye mixture has cooled down to 130 degrees. It should probably be at least a good 20 to 25 minutes. And then once it cools down, we'll come on out and I'll show you how I add my uh, clay to color the soap. And then we'll add the lye and go ahead and mix it. All right, y'all, we're waiting for Naomi to come on out so we can do the next process here. So how about we give a hand for Naomi? She's been a good chemistry instructor here with the soap. And don't forget to give a hand for her cameraman, me, also. All right, she's not here, so I can talk. All right, I think she's about to come, so I better hear up and turn this off. Hi, right, later. All right, we're back, and in this measuring cup. I always use glass is a very good idea <laughs> because this is lye and distilled water and you do not want this on your skin so I am using gloves here. I didn't show the process of me stirring or mixing the lye and the water because when I shoot it was quite in a safety manual anywhere of what I did. So we're checking our temperature. And it's at 135. We'll add our sodium lactate. And sodium lactate just helps with the sudsing of the soap and it helps it, you know, to be smoother. Whereas if you use a vegetable glycerin, it would make it a little sticky. So this just helps with the sudsing of the soap. So you need a teaspoon for every pound of soap. So since our loaf is four pounds, we're going to add four teaspoons which would be a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Okay. 
that. That's our four teaspoons. And we'll let this sit until it reaches 130. So while our lye and sodium lactate are cooling down to 130, we're going to go ahead and add our clay. Now, depending on how rich you want your color to be, you know, determines the amount that you will add. Now, if I was using turmeric, I would have waited until I was done cook with the cooking process to add it because it could fade because of the heat. When it's been Moroccan clay, it's, it's okay. So, since our scent is pumpkin, we want it to be kind of bright. I'm going to add in a tablespoon. So, I see that you're just kind of dusting it over the entire oil. Is that um, is that better than just pouring it straight in? What does it keep it from clumping? Because you want to, because we are kind of on a crunch time now at this point because the lime mixture was 135 and it would cool quickly to 130. Okay. Yeah, so let's go ahead. Start mixing it. Ooh, it's pretty. Looks like a pumpkin. So we're going to poll the audience. Should we add in one more bit of coloring to make it slightly darker or is this color good enough? Think of a pumpkin. I think that's dark enough. I'm going to zoom in over. Let me see what I'm doing. Audience poll has come back. They say that's good enough. All right, you can see how it mixed in. And let's check our temperature. All right, our uh, live mixture has reached 130. So we're going to slowly start adding it. See, it's already forming, so see how it's becoming thick? Look at that. pretty cool. Okay, now that this in, we're going to, at this point, go ahead and mix this to trace. And what we need my trace is when it starts becoming thick. We're going to mix it with our hand uh, mixer for four minutes. Time's up. Okay, now that we've finished mixing that, that's how it is when it's mixed to tray. See how it's starting to set? All the while, remember to keep your crock pot on low. Now we're going to cover, not using the lid of the crock pot, but some saran wrap or plastic wrap. We're going to create a seal. So this will cook. And we'll leave this seal, don't lift it up, for at least maybe 30 to 40 minutes. What we're looking for is for this soap to cook all the way it usually happens to the center you will see it's folding over almost to the top of the plastic wrap it will fold all the way over it will look kind of you know you'll see it in the film once it cooks all the way to the center that still kind of looks like it's not done when it gets to that point we'll take this plastic wrap off and stir the soap down so for right now it's just going to sit here and rest for the next maybe 30 to 40 minutes we'll be back so guys, you know, this is what happens when you walk away and don't watch it. Okay, we're back and as you can see, we had a little explosion out here. This soap is ready to sit. <laughs> All right, so I've stirred it down. As you can see here, it's, it's thick. Kind of the consistency of mashed potatoes. It's kind of what you want. 
And no, I would not use the soap at this point to take a bath or to wash my hands. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and turn the fire off. When it cools to 160 degrees, we'll go ahead and add our scent. We haven't added the scent at this point because it would just burn it off because the mixture is so hot. So we'll be back. All right, let's stir it. And we can go ahead and add our scent. That's a beautiful color. I really like that Moroccan clay. And you see why we say to designate dishes for the soap making. Don't use them again in your kitchen because this is lye at this point. This soap is not usable. The lye hasn't, you know, cooked out. So I wouldn't reuse this, these dishes for anything. And now that we've got it mixed in, we put it in the mold. All right, we have our mold. And our soap is ready to pour up. So let's go ahead. Whoops. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. to get rid of any air pockets. All right, we have it into the mold. And we'll let this sit for at least 24 hours. We'll give it a chance to sit. And then we'll dump it out and we'll wait to uh, slice it and you should be able to use it maybe a week to two weeks. Maybe two weeks. So, there you have it. Thank you for joining us. Hope it was helpful and hope you enjoyed it.